The high school football is back, but this season will look very different. That's right. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live at Gaffney High School ahead of tonight's McDonald's kickoff jamboree. Yeah. Looks like you're ready to go. You're like, put me in, coach. <laughs> That's right, kickoff classic. Hey, that is happening here at the reservation. We are here in Gaffney, and I know we don't have dozens of students around us right now, but guys, still a very exciting event happening tonight. You got it. It is going to look a little different, but we are so glad to welcome the director of the district here this morning, the Gaffney, the Jamboree happening. Two big matchups tonight. Our first one is Dorman and Clover. Our second game at 830 is Gaffney and Burns. Mike Cohen here this morning. Tell me, you said ticket sales and the stadium things are going to look a little different it is tonight um, normally you have you have five six thousand in but right now because of the COVID there's only 700 tickets per team that will be allowed to come in and uh, those tickets is on a first come first serve basis the uh, the ticket box I think will open at 5 p.m. today and then for the second game, they will open up at 7.30 p.m. You know, it's good that at least it's able to happen. I know some of these safety regulations can be a lot to take on, but some of the students weren't even sure if they were going to be able to play ball. What's it mean to the community to do this? Uh, I think it's uh, big for the community, and I'd like to give a special thanks to the superintendent of, of Cherokee County and, and uh, Dr. Scriven, the athletic director for Gaffney, for putting this on and working through all the little problems coming up and uh, so positive about it. But the community, I think, is looking forward to it. And, of course, the officials are, and I know the ball players and coaches are. Well, that's a good point. Now, tell me, what does this mean to a player? It's sort of a, a dress rehearsal, right? They're able to evaluate their skills? This is almost like week zero. It's a, it's a week before the, the uh, real game starts. So, really, everything they've done up to this point, they're putting it on display, and they're hoping they're ready for that week one when it comes up next week. Very good. So, thank you so much. So, 5 o'clock, gates open right here at the reservation. Tickets, $10 each? $10 each, and they will be on sale. And uh, come and get them while they're uh, available. Ooh. But uh, we, are, we are very excited about having these four top teams in the state. Oh, yeah. You couldn't get a better matchup anywhere than a Dorman Clover, Burns Gaffney, and these are the last four teams that ended last year. Very so, exciting. Uh, very excited, very excited. And officials are, we are very excited. If that's not enough of a reason to show up, I don't know what is. I can't do a better job than the director of the district right there. All right, guys, we'll send it back to you. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be a great game with those yeah. incredible teams. Oh, All right, yeah. Christine, <laughs> thanks so much. Fred? And 7 Sports Director Pete Yanity will be here tonight for the season preview.